Hey buddy, welcome to Rem TV and welcome back to my NBA 2K19 Brooklyn Nets, my franchise. This is episode 7, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist to my channel. And here we are for the January 18th game against the Bucks. Um, we are, what is our record right now? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We are currently 7 and 5. We're 2 and a half back in, uh, games back from Toronto, who are leading the East. Or rather, the Atlantic Division. And we're going to try to play against the very tough Giannis uh, Antetokounmpo. And we're going to try to stop him here. And continue our winning ways. We're about almost halfway through the season. So this should be interesting how well we're going to take things. Because I think this is a big test of how well we can really defend the big men. And if we can keep up with them. Alright guys, so I'll see you guys in... Where are we playing? In Brooklyn. And one, that's a layup by D'Angelo Russell, and that's a foul on Ersan Ilyasova. We try to get the lead early in the game here, and makes the free throw. Oh, what a pass by D'Angelo! Right to Jared Allen. Got past Bledsoe. He didn't even see it. Ooh, that's a steal. Let's go. Go Green. Feeds to Brook Lopez. And finishes. That's a fast break opportunity. Good defense turns into better O. Ooh, look at Dinwiddie getting fancy underneath the basket. Wide open. That's a shot to hold hit. Joe Green, a good shooter as well as an athletic man. So he is a dual threat. Ah, good pass to Bledsoe for the slam. Good Angel for three. Got it. 14 points in the first half. D'Angelo Russell looks good. Good block by Brook. And that forces a shot clock violation for the Bucks as they are falling apart here in the second quarter. Good pass to DeMar Carroll for the slam. Gerald Green faked it. Full the defense. DeMar Carroll cutting for the dunk. Stolen by Russell. Oh, here comes Joe Green. You know he can fly. Look at that dunk. Joe Green pumps it back for the two handed slam. And the Nets is showing their defense. Now they're up by 14. Ed Davis again. Ed Davis with 10 points, 6 rebounds here in the first half for the Nets. And he is showing strong presence from the bench. All right, so now that we hit halftime, I just want to put it out there that you know, if you like what you see, by you know, if you like what you're seeing, click the thumbs up button. I'm trying to get a, at least three to five likes. Comment below. I'm, I, you know, I want to initiate a conversation with you guys. You know, talk to me. And uh, yeah, and also if you if you are new to the channel, subscribe and uh, click that. Uh, notification bell and I'll tell you whenever I'm coming out with a new video uh, so yeah let's just continue the second uh, half and hopefully we can continue our really really good ways right now Ooh, look at Jared Allen showing his mid-range game hitting that by the time anyone even thinks of chasing him he's gone now, here is Russell. Good pass to Brooke Lopez, cutting to the basket. That's a two-handed slam for the big man. And the Nets continue to blow them out throw by 22. Foul, and one! That was a foul on Trevor Booker. As D'Angelo hits the floor hard as he gets clipped in midair. What a play by D'Angelo Russell. Middleton against Green. Oh, 
Lopez sets a screen for Green. From deep. Time expires. Go for the three. And that pushes it to 15. With about four minutes left. This should be good in the books. That one's off. Still out of sync. Nets leading by 17. Outside Green. He kicks it to Lopez. Good. Green. That's another three for Brooke Lopez. And he has 22 points in the game. Vert Green. Back to back threes for the Nets, and suddenly the lead has been inflated back to 23. All right, so we're just going to dribble this out. Actually, I'm trying to make a buzzer beater, but. Um, you were going to win this by double digits. I actually didn't expect this game to be that bad, but here comes Brooke with a jump shot. Got it. Um, he gets 24 points in the game, but yeah, I did not expect this game to be this much of a blowout. Bledsoe was just cooking near the end, but I expected Giannis to do something more. Uh, he was doing really well in the first quarter, then as soon as they sat him down, he just cooled off. Um, didn't play as you know dominant as I expected. I was actually afraid to play them because of him. But, I don't know, the Nets were just too much for them, I guess. Um, let's take a look at the box score for the Nets. D'Angelo Russell and Brooke Lopez each had 24 points. Um, and then followed by Jared Allen with a 16 point, 9 rebounds, 3 block effort. Uh, Levert coming off the bench with 15 points. Ed Davis at 12 and 8, as well as 3 blocks. Gerald Green with 8 points, 7 assists. Then Woody with 5 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. Everybody is just contributing for this team, which is the reason why we're winning. Um, look at look at the the Bucks. They only had two players in double digits. That was Eric Bledsoe, with 35 points, um, 16 of 30 shooting, and Giannis was 29 points, six rebounds, and two turnovers. Not as well as I thought he'd play, um, but the, the reason why we won is because our shooting percentage. Look at 60 percent. We only hit four threes. Uh, we went 12, 4, 16 on the free throw line. And yeah, we just took over and also our, our uh, turnovers were very limited under double digits, which is what I like. Um, I think I lost that game against the Knicks because of that and I don't want to make the mistake again. Uh, so yeah, here we are. We're going to fast forward some more. So to date. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. We are going to sim through this day against the Suns. And we won 113-96. to Let's take a look at the box score for the Nets. D'Angelo Russell with a 23-point, 11-assist uh, game. Um, Joe Green with 18 points. Dinwiddie with 16. Damari Carroll, 13. Kent Free, 12. Ed Davis with 11. Jared Allen with a 10-10 game. Brooke Lopez with a 9-5-2 and two game. Uh, it was just, again, a lot of double-digit scores. Doesn't have to be a 30 point score every game, but if they can get at least a 20 point score and a, and a handful of 10, 10 um, double digit scores, I'll be happy with that. I'll be happy with that. Um, so we're gonna fast forward. We're gonna be playing this game against huh, the Warriors, who are 10 and 3. We are 9 and 5. Um, so we'll we'll see how well things are really going. And let's see, let's see, let's see here. Um, so we are now third in the East behind the Celtics and the Raptors. We're still two and a half behind the Raptors. Um, but we are playing pretty well. We play actually better on the road than we do at home. We're three and three at home. We're six and two away. Um, we're putting up a lot of points, 106 points a game, uh, shooting pretty well, 50% from the field, obviously three point shooting and eh, not so much. We're not a three point shooting team, um, but I think this team is getting their, their things together. Um, everyone seems to be on the right track. Team chemistry increasing. So this should be interesting. How are we gonna play against the Warriors? Probably not too well, especially with Durant. Um, with obviously uh, Steph Curry, with the all-star team basically. Um, but we gotta find a way to really just scrap us, you know, just go through it and pull out a win. Uh, so I'm going to wrap it up here again. Um, if you like what you saw, but then this video, 
click that thumbs up leave any comments below uh, I want to interact with you guys I want to talk with you guys I want to hold a conversation and if you're new to the channel subscribe and click that notification bell uh, it'll tell you whenever I come out with a new video so yeah I hope you guys have a great day take it easy until next time and peace